Lawmakers officially began the 2022 legislative session today. In 60 days, they'll have a lot to do, and some things are moving quickly, while others will create some tension. LEX18's political reporter, Carolina Buchek, has the update. 2022. Lawmakers got right to work on new voting maps today. Maps that will make changes for voters for the next 10 years. And there are still a lot of questions about the map details, but one thing is clear. The public won't have much time to look at them, analyze them, or comment on them because lawmakers hope to have the maps passed by Saturday. Now, Democrats say this process should have been more transparent to begin with. We need a nonpartisan redistricting committee um, because we should take the politics out of this. Um, it's, it's what we should do to have fair and transparent maps. But GOP leaders are standing by their maps. They say the maps will create changes, but they follow every rule that needs to be followed. These maps are very much defensible either in state or federal courts. While well, redistricting will take up most of the attention these first few days of session, there are other things we're following this year. One of them is executive power. Will lawmakers give the governor back some of his emergency powers? Last year, lawmakers curbed the governor's ability to react to emergencies. But now that COVID cases are at an all time high, the governor hopes he can get some of that power back. I am asking the General Assembly to return uh, authority to require masking in public schools. But the Senate president made it clear that won't be happening. Nope. No, I'm not going to ever say anything's off the table. Uh, but I would say there is a very slim chance that that would be revisited. So there's some tension already on day one of 60 of this legislative session. In Frankfurt, Carolina Buchek, Evening Edition.